Domino's Pizza, or as they call them in your local neighborhood, Domino's. They reported <laughs> delivery sales oh, crashing at 11.7% 11, <laughs> 11. in the second quarter versus a year ago, despite its best effort to address lost sales due to its ongoing delivery driver shortage. How grim of an outlook is cooking up for Domino's Pizza? That's where we find Sazi's Steak today. Sazi, this is Brad's Steak today. I mean, how can I even follow that? That's That's like, a- forget about Target. It's Domino's. Domino's. Yeah. Yeah, let's I go back to our desk to talk about snap earnings. But look, I'm still uh, <laughs> chewing uh, on this quarter from Domino's. I'm sniffing around for things that may or may not be great. And one thing that stood out to me uh, from reading the conference call at length uh, is the driver shortage. And this is something that Maz, our senior editor, Miles Udlin, highlighted to me, and I wrote it up for our homepage, uh, that that driver shortage continues, and it's not getting any better. It has now come to the point where Domino's is, if you call up, and there are still people that call up the local Domino's to put in order, they're now routing that call to a call center, maybe out in the middle of the country somewhere. So that person in the store is not taking your call. They're out there delivering pizzas. Oh. So I have the full story on Yahoo Finance up about that. It's just an interesting little way they're trying to address this driver shortage. Doesn't appear to be working because Domino sales were under a lot of pressure again in the second quarter. A couple things, uh, just a couple takeaways uh, from that quarter. Driver shortage is a big problem. It's not getting, uh, it's not going away anytime soon. I would argue it's getting worse to the likes of Domino's, or at least that was my takeaway from the uh, results yesterday. Inflation, also a major problem, really hammering the franchisee owners that own these Domino's locations. And last but not least, uh, does Domino's have pricing power? Uh, And and that could be argued as well in a competitive pizza market. uh, It's hard to see them being able to push through enough price uh, or those franchisees pushing through enough price to offset the inflation they are in fact seeing. Uh, And it is starting to get expensive on the websites. You can get a Domino's specialty pizza for almost $20 now. It's a lot more than it used to be, maybe not so family friendly. Overall, here's my take uh, for Domino's Pizza. It could be, I I think, a a couple more challenging quarters uh, ahead for this company. There I am smiling. Maybe I should be a little sad about this Domino's quarter, but not a tasty outlook. Well, you're about to eat a pizza. Yeah, no. not yes, that, that'll make most people happy, including me, but not, not a tasty outlook uh, for Domino's. The margin are under attack. The sales are under, are got going the right way. The street has been out here aggressively trying to defend Domino's, thinking I think that it is still the Domino's from five years ago with when Patrick Doyle was running the company and things were so good. It's just a challenge company. You know, I, I'm curious, like, how the driver shortage is playing out in real life. In other words, like, if you're calling, if you're one of those people who call, and they say, it's going to be an hour, do you just say, mm. never mind, I'll, I'll yes. go somewhere else? And that's I what, guess that's, that's what happening. happened. So the, my other thought is the driver shortage and the shortage of workers everywhere, especially low-wage workers, is because those people have had more power during this, um, this worker-constrained time, right? Mm-hmm. So does that mean as the economy starts to roll over, they'll actually have an easier time getting drivers? In other words, if you get laid off from your job at Snap, for Mm -hmm. example, and you need a bridge to your next thing, do you say, oh, maybe I'll go deliver some pizzas in the meantime? I I I see where you're going. But if you get get laid off from Snap, you probably have a couple million in your bank account. I say it kind of, well, not everybody. I say it kind of tongue in cheek, but like, you know, during, in other words, there will be more, um, availability of workers as the economy starts to decrease. But do would these companies need those workers? Is Domino seeing a pullback in orders right. in a recessionary period? Yeah. You know, it's, Good question. It's unclear. Well, here's the other transition that Domino's has also been trying to work into their model is the autonomous vehicle delivery. They've been mm-hmm. testing this out with Neuro to try and solve for this problem yes. ahead of time and reduce that cost per delivery for themselves as well. And so that's something else that's at play at the same time yeah. where you might have some of the people that are getting back into the OG gig economy trying to just look for that bridge. But that's also a big, big upfront exp- uh, exactly. investment on yeah. the part of Domino's. And I don't want to just case. want to hear, sit here and hammer Domino's. If Domino's is impact, being impacted by the labor shortage, a lot of the restaurants, yeah, a lot of its competitors are also feeling the same. The same Definitely. Effect. Maybe you should go do some driving to like just to test it out, report back. I, to I, 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 